some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... Daniel from the Constitutional State rushes to an incident after hearing about it on his scanner, only to be immediately arrested immediately after arrival because of warrants issued due to a failure to appear at a court date. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. They're scramming. Of course, we show up and they run away. All of them. It's the paramedics. We got the cops here still. So, they said an accident, occupants. I mean, I'd be scared to have that squad around my car. I'd be scared. You see, late last year, Daniel was arrested for disturbing the peace, and he had a upcoming court date, which he had to cancel due to illness. But he didn't go through the proper channels, so now he has a warrant out for his arrest for failure to appear. But of course, you know, the cops were not going to be sent after him because they knew he would pop his head out sooner or later because they know what he is. He's a frauditor. He can't help but uh, look for the cops. So why not let your enemy come to you? We got a lady right here in the middle that doesn't even know the laws that will arrest you for talking in public. I'm gonna try and get my gimbal out, guys. Got it out, we just gotta set it up, hold on. Get out of the road. Well, we're not really in the road, but... Was she really, though? That's what we need to find out. I'd be scared with these guys on scene. So. Hold on, sorry guys, setting the give up. I wouldn't answer either. We are at Stop and Shop in Willimantic. Something about an accident came over. I was on my way home, but my girl was like, take your time, I'm, I'm doing, I'm cleaning and stuff. So I left uh, where the other cop and I heard sirens, so I threw the scanner on and it said, come here. But the craziest part is, is they got this cop over here in the car. Oh, she's not in the car. She's right there. I see it, thank you, bud. They literally arrest you for talking. I'm surprised they didn't arrest me right now. Ask and you shall receive for what will happen here in a few minutes, and you will be totally shocked about it. But she will. Can't talk. She'll come throw the cups on you. She arrested me without even a complainant. She was the complainant. Arrested me and then lied and said that the people that they were talking to wanted me arrested Which was crazy because she didn't even go check what up M keeping the swine in line Sasquatch John Speedway What up guys? I appreciate y'all We're just checking this out making sure it's okay because literally she'll arrest you for anything Like literally if I said don't talk right now, I know I, I wouldn't be answering any questions that's what we gotta do, third person. I learned that from Rogue Nation. Shout out Rogue Nation. I'm just making sure she don't arrest you for something that you didn't do. She did it to me, so I just, I just want to make sure you're safe, bud. I don't want to talk to you either, because she might arrest me for that.
eight four nineteen eighty nine. You guys running my information? Danny, can I talk to you? Nah, I, I really don't want to talk. Okay, listen. I, I don't want to listen either. Okay. Um, I have something that I gotta tell you. I don't want okay. to listen to it. You have a warrant for what? I'm gonna get the charge right now. Mm -hmm. But I believe, from what I saw, it's failure to pay an infraction or something. It's at a Norwich court. Okay. okay. So, you gotta bring me down, or you want me to go down there? Cause I'll go right now and handle it. I don't really care. And what? Do I gotta go down there and handle it? I would like to do it. Okay, let's go. All right. So I'll take you with me and stuff like that. I'm just gonna check you out for weapons, drugs, anything like that. Well, can I just put my bag in my car? Yeah, I'll come All right. with you. All right. Yeah, that's, that's not fair. Yeah, that's cool. Right. What's uh, what's your birthday? Eight four eighty nine. 849. Okay. You know what's crazy is I'll, I called I'll court because, well, listen, it was court okay. and I was sick yeah. and I called them and they told me it was okay, okay. and now I have a warrant for missing court for Taylor. Like, yeah. come on. From my perspective, I'm not totally sure what the, the deal is. So every time I come out, you guys just run my information? Is no. that what you're saying? No. That's what it seems like. That's, that's I showed up on scene I'm and you ran yourself. my information. I'll go with you, all right? Yep. Yeah, man, just give me one sec. Danny, can you hang out? Yeah, I'm good. I'm not good. Thanks. I ain't no criminal. Station, what's the charge on Kakaska's warrant? Not going to court when they told me I didn't have to go to court. What up, National? I'm getting arrested, bro. Um, dollars. Cash or your 10%. All right, so just to explain it to you. Here, let's go. I got to hey, grab. Can you chill with him? He had a question. So they're going to give me a $1,000 bond for that? And here comes the walk of shame, ladies and gentlemen. So it's, um, right, so it's a thousand, so it's cash, surety, or 10%. So 10% meaning- Can I pay can the 10% myself? Yep, absolutely. And you can get- You know how here. bullshit that this is, dude? You know how bullshit that- I have the video, I have it recorded of me talking to court and them telling me it's okay. That they're gonna reschedule it. And show that to the make it there. It's, I already know, you know who it is. It's the, I know you are, it's the yeah. BS judge. But how does court, how do you call court and they say it's- Oh, it's okay, we'll fix it. They tell you not to come to court if you're sick. And then you don't go to court because you're sick, and now right. you guys are going to take my last hundred dollars, so... Well, you'll be able to get it back. Well, yeah, when? Six months? I got to go leave tomorrow to go work out of state. Is that you all the way over there? Yeah, it is. I just want to throw this in there. My money's in yep. there. I'll tell you right now, ma'am. Nine o'clock on the dot. What's crazy is you can't even go out. You go anywhere and they run your stuff anytime. Anytime. America. It's that judge. It's that ugly, fat, Botox judge. She's all mad. And what's crazy is that the $100 that they're taking from me is more than the ticket. That's what's crazy. My last hundred dollars state of connecticut so it's like failure to pay it in fraction. yeah but it's if they told me they're going to reschedule the court date because i'm sick yeah. there shouldn't be a failure to pay anything and after he gets out he goes on a tirade blaming everybody involved except for himself guys i just got out i went to tape uh Went to tape uh, the cops at Stop and Shop, and the dude walked up to me, one of the dudes I don't even really like, and was like, oh, uh, what's good, Mike, MB, press harder, what's up, guys? They, they, they grabbed me, they said I had a warrant because I missed court the other day, last week, when I called and I spoke to court, and they told me I was good because I felt like crap, so they said, yeah, don't come in, so... That was the day before court, and then when I called the day of court, I got somebody else. They said that they were going to put a note in my file, and blah, blah, blah. Just call back that day, which I did. What up, press? You're the man. So, instead of just giving me another court date, because let's not forget, I had court two weeks before that, and, and missed work and did all that, and they ended up... I went and the judge was, she was out sick, so she can be out sick, but I can't. Doesn't make much sense, does it? Like, literally the same thing. Everybody's sick right now up here. Just give me another court date. No, they literally arrested me. They took my last $100, my last $100. Like, 
I'm leaving. I was supposed to leave for work. Well, I still am. I got to leave for work tomorrow, Tuesday, and I got to stay out of state till Saturday morning. And that was my money to do that. And now I am literally flat broke, but it comes with it. Uh, I guess it was kind of pathetic that it had to go like that. Um, me and that guy, Giller, we, I don't know, we talked about some things. We have been not getting along that much lately. Um, but it was just crazy. Is this coming up? Is this working for YouTube? Yeah, there we go. Cause I'm on restream. So it's a little different, but I mean, it went as easy as it could be. He was all right. He didn't cuff me until we got to the car and then he cuffed me and then he brought me to the station and then he uncuffed me. It took longer than it should have because we were talking. Um, he told me about some things. I told him about how I feel um, and each other's perspectives about things. But in my eyes, it's just BS. You're going to put a warrant out. They put literally put a $1,000 bond on me. Luckily... I had my hundred dollars in my pocket so I could get out of jail. It's just crazy though. Like it's literally crazy. He did it the right way though. He came up to me and was like, Oh, can we talk to you? And I told him I didn't want to talk the lives up. Um, and oh, you got a warrant. Like what? A warrant. Then they literally, I had to pay more than the infraction ticket was to begin with. What? It's just madness. It is madness. Like it's it's sad to see too. How is court how are their clerks gonna tell you it's okay and everything's fine and then you do it and then they turn around and put a warrant out for you? Luckily I have the phone calls to the clerks recorded. Like it doesn't make much sense. They offered to give me a ride back. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna walk. Plenty of blame to go around, huh? Except for yourself. Let me give you a little secret, Daniel. You'll never be a success in life until you stop blaming others for your failures. Only after you stop blaming others for your failures can you learn from them and improve upon what you did before. If you are unwilling to shoulder your own blame, you will never make it anywhere in your pathetic little life. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.